Hi, so today we are looking at experiment which is another experiment in the uh, solar geometry set of experiments titled uh, solar geometry study of shading devices on any day of the year. So <coughs> here are the equipments of this experiment as you can see this is the the base the house base which we will be using to assemble the house on then this is the base plate this is the swivel, swivel base these are the different walls and roof and base of the scaled house we have a whole set of this we also have the the sun dial which we'll be using to simulate any day of the year We also have the scaled shading devices which are uh, of different uh, roof configurations. As you can see, we have different roof configurations here in the set and these shading devices are provided for each roof configuration here. So these are different roof configurations and each has a separate shading device. And we will, we will also have the, the clips. These are the clips which we will be using to assemble the house. And lastly and additionally, we will be using a scale to measure uh, different shading depths and shadow lengths etc. in the experiment. The objective of this experiment is to, to study the design of shading, how shadings are designed on any day of the year and how different window sizes play a significant role in the design of the shadings. This will help, this experiment will help, help students to really visualize uh, the concept of shading device design, uh, the concept of horizontal shading angles, the vertical shading angle, etc. Um, which 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 is quite a theoretical can, concept in uh, in the architecture curriculum right now and this will help them gain a visual long term understanding of these concepts so we are looking at the assembly of this experiment here uh, for the assembly part first what i will do is i will take this base plate and um this this thing here goes in this slot so i will put it here once this is done i will um look at the slot that is provided here and that will go towards the side where the opening is provided so it is going to go like this the base is ready now we will assemble the house on this base. To assemble the house, first we will take the base of the house. Here we have the base. You can see its base written here. And we will make sure that the 
base of the house falls inside the circle provided here so here you can see it's exactly in the circle now i have two um walls with windows i will start assembling them here we need to take care of two things one is the grids need to be outside and the uh, the top and bottom needs to be taken care of and this notch here needs to go inside this hole provided here we will then use the clips here and we will first see what uh, if there is, if there is no gap on this edge then that would mean that the clip uh, the the orientation of the clip would be like this which would ensure that there is no gap here if there would have been gap here we would have just flipped the clip and did like this so we will see okay again i'm taking another side i have entered it in the slot this side is done now you can see there is a gap here so if there is a gap then the next clip will go such that it will fill the gap you can see it here now i will take another wall which is a blank wall and i'll determine the top and bottom side and i will assemble it like this and similarly i will take the other two clips the fourth wall another blank wall here okay sorry i have as you can see i have just used the wrong side now this is the right side so this is as we can see this is a precision fit as we see this is a precision fit it will take a uh, bit of time to to adjust everything here but once it's done hopefully as you can see the whole assembly is done except for the roof and now we will fit the roof
this house is assembled here as you can see now it is a precision fit so you can you can see it is inside the circle and the base is now kept vertical sorry horizontal the table these are the shading devices this slide inside the 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 windows like this this is the horizontal shading device this is the vertical shading device again here we also have to keep the grids out similarly this is the horizontal device and this is the vertical device this is how it will slide we can we can just move it inside and out and lastly this is the sundial which we will be setting uh, with the latitude of the place since we are doing it in pune we will set it at 19 degrees which is the latitude of pune we will match north south so this is south we we will match this south and this goes here this is the assembly of this experiment so we are looking at the procedure of this experiment here as we can see that this house is assembled towards um, the south actually the window is uh, south side uh, facing south uh, these two configurations we have chosen and additionally we have the sundial placed here now the the experiment that we want to conduct is uh, that we have to look at the horizontal and vertical shading angle on any given day so for to simulate any other day uh, we will use this sundial and as you can see uh, the sundial what it does is uh, once once it is once it is set uh, on the latitude of the place currently we are in we are shooting in pune so the the latitude of uh, latitude of the city of pune is 19 degrees we have set the latitude here and we have to orient uh, we have to set the orientation according to the north we have set it now it will show me the date and time of of uh, this place at this time so now here you can see that there are dates and there are times so to simulate a different day and time uh, let's say we uh, we want to have a look at the horizontal and vertical shading angles um, on say 15th of march at uh, say 2 pm so to get that date and that time we will tilt this base such that the the shadow of the needle here matches that day and time so we will just zoom in in a bit so this is approximately the uh, the sun profile on 15th march so if you can draw a line from here it will coincide with 15th march at 2 pm the next thing that we are going to do is use these scaled shading devices for the particular windows this is uh, sd1h which means horizontal this is a, a horizontal shading device and we will just slightly slide it inside such that my maximum window is covered so as you can um, we'll just again zoom in uh, in a bit and we will what we can do is we'll uh, again use this vertical shading device to cover the maximum part maximum part of the window here so you can see here so the horizontal shading device is covering window till this point and vertical shading device is covering window till this point here similarly we can use the the wind the shading devices for the other window here 
uh, as you can see we have another configuration of the window we'll use this device So as you can see it is covering most part of the window here till here so this would be our ideal shading uh, horizontal shading depth on that day and the vertical shading depth similarly we can we can provide it like this to cover a major part of the window this would be my ideal uh, shading uh, depths for this particular date and time now uh, so this as we can we can say this is a scaled shading device and we have to measure the depth of the shading device so now you can see that there are grids we have provided and what we have to actually measure is from the grid line how much distance uh, does this window go here inside in so I'll just mark it with my finger and I will measure that extra distance so it's a, a, approximately 2 mm 2 mm further so this much distance is 20 mm and further 2 mm so 2 22 mm would be my shading depth in this case Similarly, what I'll do is I'll do it for the vertical shading uh, device. I will just mark it. So it's cu uh, currently coming out to be 30 mm, 20 plus plus 10 mm. Uh, 30 mm is the vertical shading depth I will note down these values similarly I will calculate the horizontal and vertical shading depths for this window the next thing that I'm going to measure is the shadow length each shadow length so if you can if you can look here uh, this is the shadow that we are getting okay and to calculate the shadow length we can again use the grid lines this is again 20 mm 1 2 3 so it's approximately three grids which is uh, the, the the shadow the horizontal shadow length would be three grids equivalent to 60 mm similarly the vertical shadow depth uh, sh vertical shadow length which is coming out to be somewhere here uh is half grid one two and then an additional part of a half grid so it's it's approximately three total grids again it's 60 mm so 60 mm vertical shadow uh, length and 60 mm of a horizontal shadow length this will be my values and this i will calculate or i will note down uh, in the table that is provided in the manual similarly I will calculate uh, the horizontal and vertical shadow lengths for this window and note it down in the table using these values here we will calculate the horizontal shading angle and the vertical shading angle uh, give, uh, using the formula given in the uh, provided in the manual now what this gives us is that at at this time uh, at this date and time which is 15th march at 2 pm um, this house which uh, whose dimensions are are uh, almost 200 mm by 200 mm by 200 mm it's a cuboid of 200 mm each and this window to wall ratio this wwr this this configuration of window will give me uh, that the the horizontal and vertical shading angles that I have just calculated similarly what we can do is we can we can to to simulate it or, or to un estimate it for an actual building we can uh, scale this the heights uh, heights widths and lengths of the actual building 
and we can compare it with the scaled model once we compare it we will get an estimate of the actual uh, actual uh, horizontal and vertical shading angles plus the actual uh, shading depths for horizontal and vertical uh, windows so horizontal and vertical shading depths we will get once we scale it up uh, for a larger building now similarly we can play with play uh, uh, mix and play uh, with this whole uh, setup here by changing the the windows that we have we can we can change around window configurations we can change the the walls of the windows we can also change the orientations we can change the orientation of the house and see what impact it has on the um, the shading angles and the shading depths this is how students will really understand how the sun's rays uh, can can impact uh, the the shading angles and the shadows shading lengths etc uh, at a given day we can also change the days that we want on uh, especially we want to if we want to uh, do it on summer days uh, we can we can simulate those days the only shortcoming that we have with this whole experimental setup is that this this base here cannot go beyond a certain limit and and as you can see this this cannot tilt beyond this so we cannot in in practical in practicality we cannot simulate each and every day of the year that's a limitation but we can surely simulate some of the days uh, of the year which will give us an understanding and also the students an understanding of the impact of uh, the sun on shading on uh, sh on shading design so that's the uh, that's what we want to um, make students understand through the, understand through this experiment thank you